I'm Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I'm super excited to show you around this 2005 Holiday Rambler Admiral. This is the 30 PDD floor plan, which is only 30 feet long, so it's really easy to maneuver, but it's got two slide outs. It features high quality all aluminum construction, so let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tour here on the inside. If you've watched any of our videos, you know the routine. What I'm going to do is take you through the inside and show you the floor plan, point out some of the features, and as always, uh, point out uh, the condition the coach is in so that you're able to do the shopping for these motor homes in the comfort of your home and have a really good idea of the condition, the overall condition of these motor homes before you come out to the lot. We are brutally honest with these. If there's a flaw on them, we point it out and we do our best to give you a very accurate uh, view of, uh, of these coaches. So what we're looking at right here is a 2005 uh, Holiday Rambler uh, Admiral. It's the 30 PDD floor plan. That's a 30 foot coach with two slide outs. This is an excellent way to get into what I think is the hottest segment of the Class A market uh, in, uh, nowadays. The short 30, 32 foot length is just super popular. They bring all the money uh, at, the, at auctions and at retail lots all around the country. But this coach uh, is a, an affordable way to get into it. Uh, it's in the, priced in the low 30s. And uh, this one has uh, about 51,000 miles on it. So uh, let's go ahead and start our tour up here in the front of the coach. Um, up here we've got an equipment cabinet. These are our manuals for the coach. Over here we have a combination DVD uh, VCR right here, a Samsung Blu-ray player, and our video networking box which sends your cable, uh, satellite, and antenna signals to the different televisions around the coach. And as you can see, this has been upgraded to a Vizio flat screen television. Really nice size right here. Uh, pretty nice job on the install. There are a couple of screws uh, showing up here, which we are going to cover. We're going to cover this with a black board. Uh, but other than that, the install was done beautifully. Uh, really nice. In here, nice and solid. Looks like it's meant to be here. Uh, up here on the dash, uh, we've got a nice padded dash. Uh, all the vinyl is in great shape. Uh, again, no written rips, tears, or stains. Uh, I use that line a lot, but there's none of, none of those on there. Uh, here's our in dash Garmin GPS. This is the Street Pilot. Uh, it's a large screen GPS, so that is really nice. It's got a professional install done on it with a nice bezel around it. Looks great. Uh, over here is our, our Pioneer radio and um, our, our uh, heat and air conditioner controls down here. This is a Chevrolet workhorse chassis, uh, which is a little bit of an upgrade over the Ford chassis, uh, especially in book value. Uh, over here we have our power gear uh, levelers right here. They are automatic levelers. And uh, both the front and passenger seat have no rips or tears, and there's really not any wear in the uh, fabric, so to speak. There is, I think, a little bit of fading going on. It's kind of a, a brownish color that uh, looks to me like just over time it's gotten some fading going on. It's, it's turned maybe a little bit more greenish than it should be, but it's nice and clean. It's not ripped up or anything but there is some discoloration to them. So we do like to point that out. Uh, again, one of the, if something's not a number 10 on the 10 scale, we're wanting to point out. And I would just say that these are, have faded a little bit. Uh, not, not terrible, not in bad shape. Ask for the detailed picture package. If you're very far away from the lot, we'd be glad to send you out about 100 to 150 detailed pictures of the coach. And we will have uh, several pictures of these chairs so you can get a good idea. Uh, the carpet is in really good shape. Uh, we have uh, shampooed, we shampoo all the carpets when they come in and they cleaned up beautifully. I'm going to say the carpets are probably an eight and a half or a nine on the 10 scale. Not brand new, but not showing any abnormal wear or tear in better than average condition, especially for an 05 with 50,000 miles in a well above average condition. Really nice carpet. I really don't think that anybody would want to take it out and replace it. It shows really, really nice. Uh, as well as the vinyl floor, same condition on that. Uh, over here we have a jackknife sofa. 
uh, so this will jackknife out and make a sleeper. Uh, we've got our day-night uh, shades here. These are full room darkening shades, so uh, you, can, you can pull those down and block all the light. You can see right there. Um, coming back here to the dinette, we have a booth dinette. All of the fabric on this, just like the sofa, is in perfect condition. There's no, uh, no rips, there's no fading, there's no food stains or anything like that on it. I would say these are a 10 on the 10 scale, both the sofa and the dinette, as far as condition goes, as well as the dinette top. It is in excellent condition. This shade is in beautiful shape, no stains on that. If I pull down the room darkening side, there are a couple of little dots. I always say if you watch my other videos, all it takes is one spaghetti dinner. One spaghetti dinner, you splash a little something on that blind and it's very hard to get out. We will do our best to clean it. Uh, it's, it's not uh, ripped up or torn or anything. It just has a couple of dots on it from it looks like food stains. Uh, this one's in really great shape. Uh, coming around to the kitchen, we've got our large two-door refrigerator. This is an extra large refrigerator. Uh, we have an ice maker up top and we have uh, the, the, the cold area down here. There's no rust on any of these uh, shelves. Really nice and clean in there, no odors. Uh, our three burner cooktop right here is in nice condition. There's no rusty areas or anything. The only wear and tear I see on it at all is a little bit of wear and tear on the grids right here, but nothing abnormal, just uh, you know, normal old, old use. Right here is our convection microwave. Uh, so you're going to be able to bake and microwave in that. Our countertops are in great shape. Our backsplash area is in great shape. We have a double bowl stainless sink here that's in really nice condition. You've got a filtered drinking water spout right here and a, uh, your regular kitchen uh, faucet with a swivel end on it right there. Uh, all of the ceilings are in beautiful shape. I don't see any evidence of ever any leaks on the coach. It looks really, really nice. Uh, the same with the walls. There's no peeling wallpaper or soft spots that I've seen uh, throughout the coach at all. Coming over here, we have some nice pantry area. Be great for canned goods and cereal, things like that. Over here is what I call the brains of the coach. We've got the, uh, your tank monitors right here. You've got your electric and your gas hot water heater right here. You've got your house battery and starting battery gauges so you can see the voltage on those. You also have your uh, slide out controls right here. So uh, that's kind of the brains of the coach right here is your, um, this is your thermostat for the roof air conditioner. This is a 30-foot 30, uh, 30 coach, so there's really not any need for two air conditioners on this. It's got one air conditioning, and it does just fine. We're here in Florida, and basically still summertime here, and it's doing a really good job. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and have the cameraman go on back first and swing around. <laughs> and in here we have our bathroom with our uh, glass enclosed shower. We've got a nice skylight above that. Uh, there's no evidence that it's ever leaked around that. One thing that comes with this coach that I really like a lot is they have these plugs in every one of the vents. So when you're storing the coach or if it's a vent that you're not using, you put that in there. It has reflective material on one side and it'll insulate those, uh, those roof vents. Uh, those come along with the coach and they're in really nice condition. Uh, we've got some cabinetry space in here, a nice big mirror, our vanity down here. One thing I'm going to point out at some time this has had a border in here that's been removed. I can see a pencil mark that runs around the, uh, the, the, uh, the wallpaper in here. There's no damage to the wall or anything. I'd be glad to put some wallpaper border back in if it's something you would like. I just now noticed it uh, as I was looking at it, but it'd be very easy for us to take care of it. But I do want to point out we've got a pencil mark right there. Uh, in this area right here we have a Cabinet, to, cabinet right here that's very deep. Um, trying to see, I believe uh, this looks like we've got an area for pre-plumbed and pre-wired for a washer dryer. It's got a false panel in the back so I can't see the hookups. If it's something that's important to you, I would be glad to take that panel off and make sure that it is pre-plumbed and pre-wired, but I'm about 90% sure we've got pre-plumbed and pre-wired uh, area back there. Right here we've got hanging storage. 
a bank of two drawers below that, a bank uh, or a cabinet right here. Up here we've got our breakers and our fuses. You've got an area right here with a little bit more hanging storage. You do have a bar in here for hanging. And this is a vanity area. You've got a nice little swing out mirror right here. And this looks like it's just a mirror, but this actually uh, lets light in uh, through that window. And you do have a shade behind that, so you don't have to use that. Uh, you could have that shade pulled and leave those open if you would prefer. But that's a pretty nice feature. You can put one of the dinette chairs, or you can, uh, actually we have a booth dinette, but you could get a little folding chair or something and put right here. It's a great place for, uh, uh, for the ladies or the men to put their makeup on. So uh, over here we've got a queen size bed. This is the factory bedspread, which is in beautiful condition. I don't see any, uh, any, any wear or tear on it. These really nice wall sconces with this decorative glass with a mirror background and we got a padded uh, cushion headboard and a couple of little reading lights right here um, that you flip on with a switch on the sidewall right there. So uh, inside of this uh, coach is just clean as a pin. The carpet's really nice back here. Again, no leaks in the ceiling. This is a vinyl ceiling, which I like. It's uh, easier to keep clean than the fabric style ceilings. Uh, but again, this is a great way to get into a really reliable, easy to maintain, 30-foot coach that you can get into state and national parks, very easy to maneuver. With that workhorse chassis, you're going to have plenty of power for powering up the hills, and it's just in beautiful condition. So let's go ahead and go on out to the outside and see, uh, take a tour of that. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of this 2005 Holiday Rambler Admiral here on the outside. Again, to refresh your memory, 30 PDD, that's a 30-foot coach. Uh, we're going to start here on the side walls. Uh, mirrors are in great shape. All the graphics around the coach show very minimal wear and tear. There's no cracking or peeling. There's maybe a slight little bit of uh, fading here and there, which is going to be normal for uh, graphics that are about 10 years old. And a little chip here and there. There's a little chip in the graphic here. But overall, the graphics are in excellent shape. The, the side walls and the construction of this whole coach are aluminum. The bay doors are aluminum, the side walls are aluminum, the roof is aluminum, the studs are aluminum. That's a really great uh, build quality on that. Uh, all of the uh, paint down the sides in this bronze brown color is in really nice shape. I'll point out any flaws as we go around. But uh, the side walls are nice and shiny. Uh, got a little bit of, um, on this entry door, we have a little bit of area where the paint is worn through right here. Uh, I'm more than likely going to go ahead and have this door painted to match just because it's, uh, it's just shown a little bit of wear and tear here. Uh, the factory finish on this is just not quite as durable as the factory finish that was on this. So we're probably going to go ahead and paint that. You can ask me about it when you call, and uh, we will uh, let you know if it's gotten done yet. Uh, we're just, uh, just going to have to get it taken care of. We've got a storage bay in here. It is full pass-through. About the top 12 inches of this storage bay goes all the way through. If I close this bay door, there's uh, very, very minimal of any sort of chips or scratches. There's a little chip right here, a couple of very minor little surface scratches that aren't through the clear coat that would easily buff out. Uh, overall, though, in beautiful condition. Right here is our LP gas area. Our LP gas tank is a really big LP gas tank and everything looks good in there. Uh, same with our door out here. A uh, couple of little minor surface scratches here, but really no chips or scratches. Here's a good shot of the graphics. You can see the edges are all sharp. There's no cracking or peeling. Uh, our, our tires are in really nice shape. I uh, can't remember the date code uh, age on these. It's a, it's a date code that I cannot read, but I remember the, this is a trade-in, and I remember the customer telling me I think they are about two years old. So they, they definitely look to not be very old. You can still see the barcode here. I'm certain that they're not run out and uh, be easy enough to go to a, a tire shop. I'm sure they could probably decode that date code, but uh, those are a little bit different than your average date code. Here's one of the only problems on the outside of the coach, one of only about two problems that I know of. This has uh, gotten scraped at some time, and it has bent the metal a little bit right here. 
Uh, it's barely noticeable when it's closed because it's down on the bottom edge. All the paint up in here is in really nice shape. You see a couple of minor little scratches here. And if you look at it, you can tell that there's a little bit of wrinkling in it. But you really don't notice it until you open the door. So that's not a, a real big deal. Again, we like to point out the good as well as the bad. Uh, I want to point a flaw like that out because you will see it when you get here. I don't think it's a big deal, um, but I do want to point it out. Back here's a storage bay, really nice and clean in there, nice big storage bin. That door is in great shape. Uh, coming around to the back, we got our aluminum ladder going to the roof, which is in excellent shape. All of the paint back here is, is above excellent in shape. There's just no, no wear or tear back here hardly at all. Got a spare tire, the graphics are nice back here. Coming along to the side of the coach, you can see our electrical bay right here. Everything's neat as a pin in there, it's a 30 amp coach. This bay door has a couple of little chips and surface scratches in it, but really minor. Again, we can send out that detailed picture package that we do on these coaches, and we'd be glad to send you out 100, 150 pictures of this coach that will show you in detail any flaws that we see. Uh, this is our wet bay. It's in really, really clean condition in there. This door is in really great shape. All of these graphics are nice. Again, the side walls show a nice shine to them with that aluminum skin. Uh, we do have some corrosion on this uh, fuel filler door right here. Uh, we will be fixing this. I need to pull this off, sand it down or, or sandblast it down, prep it properly. With aluminum, you need to prep it with uh, the correct type of chemicals to neutralize the corrosion and be able to uh, not have it just peel right back again. We just haven't had time to do that or the door, but that will be de built, will be getting taken care of uh, with the sale. So uh, uh, we, will, we will make that a non-issue. There's more storage bays underneath this slide out. You can see you got your, your big slide out right here. And again, the sidewalls are nice and shiny. Uh, tires all look great, wheels all look great. Um, mirrors in great shape. Coming along to the front, um, the fiberglass is really nice. You've got a little, you've got a little bit more chipping in the brown paint up here. Normal wear and tear type stuff. This does not have the clear protection film on it, nor did it ever have it. So you've just got the paint that's been exposed to uh, any normal amount of rock chips. Unless someone's a really good driver and knows how to dodge uh, rock chips, uh, there's no way around this. This is just normal stuff. You're going to pick that up over 50,000 miles of driving. It's a little spot in the clear coat right there. But other than that, the front end shows really nice. Um, it's just normal stuff. It's definitely not an eyesore. But again, we point out the good with the bad. We are brutally honest when we do these, uh, these uh, videos. We're doing them so that you know not only the good part, parts, but any flaws. So uh, that's basically the outside of the coach. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to call us at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name's Brian, but uh, whoever answers the phone will be glad to help you. It might be Cy. He's a salesman here, and he'd be glad to help you out as well. And um, again, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, and I hope it's been helpful to you. You have a great day and God bless.